Less than two weeks after Sydney FC announced a major transfer of their own, the Western Sydney Wanderers have responded in style, announcing the signing of World Cup winner Juan Mata on a one-year deal. With rumours of the Spaniards' possible arrival sending the Wanderers fans into overdrive in recent weeks, the deal was finally confirmed on Thursday evening, with Mata joining a new-look Wanderers side under Alan Stajic for the upcoming Isuzu Ute A-League season. Now 36, Mata moves to Western Sydney after a short spell with Japanese champions Vissel Kobe ended back in January, but the mercurial midfielder is fit and raring to go ahead of his new challenge. In an address to his new club supporters on Instagram, Mata said, I have always been amazed with your country and long to live there. Now I will do it in the beautiful city of Sydney. I'm joining Western Sydney Wanderers, the only Australian team to ever win the Asian Champions League, and I cannot wait to arrive and train with the team to prepare for the season ahead. Feeling grateful and excited for this new adventure and looking forward to trying to win another championship in a different league. Let's go Western Sydney Wanderers, I'm one of you. P.S. Friends and family, if you're thinking about visiting, please plan in advance this time. And it's safe to say Mata's move went down well amongst his fellow pros on Instagram. The likes of Spain legend Ika Casillas, former United goalkeeper David De Gea, Liverpool legend Luis Garcia and Belgium's Dries Mertens among thousands to show the Spaniards some love following his big announcement. So what does Juan Mata bring to the Isuzu A-League in 2024-25? Well, in short, pedigree, experience and trophies. A whole lot of trophies. In fact, Mata boasts one of the best individual CVs in world football. At club level, he won the Copa del Rey after breaking through with Valencia before sealing a lucrative £23.5 million move to Chelsea, where he left an indelible mark on both the club and its supporters. An FA Cup win under Roberto Di Matteo in 2012 was soon followed by the most memorable night in Chelsea's history, when Mata helped the Blues win their first ever UEFA Champions League crown, defeating Bayern Munich on their own turf. The following year, Mata then helped Chelsea lift more European silverware, this time winning the UEFA Europa League before moving north in a deal which saw him become Manchester United's record transfer fee at the time, with United paying £37 million for the player, roughly $72 million in today's market. Spending eight years at Old Trafford, Mata left having won the FA Cup, League Cup and the Europa League before moving to the Turkish Super League where he won the league title with Galatasaray and then was part of the squad which won the J-League title with Vissel Kobe. And when it comes to international honours, well, Mata has won the lot. A World Cup winner's medal from 2010 in South Africa was then followed two years later by a Euro 2012 victory over Italy, a 4-0 win in Kiev, Mata scoring the fourth goal. At 36, Juan Mata arrives in Australia with a stocked trophy cabinet, yes, but more importantly, a deep desire to get back on the pitch and show the Wanderers faithful just what he's capable of following a spell on the sidelines. And what better game to showcase that than in round one of the new Isuzu A-League season as Sydney Derby at Combank Stadium in Parramatta, or as it may be known by then, Juanderland. For all the details on this deal and to get your tickets, head to the website, it's aleagues.com.au.